So, good afternoon. I, I feel a video coming on, so I, all of a sudden I decided I'm going to show you what I'm doing. And I, I've done this before, so I know you've seen some of it. So, that isn't anything new. But the reason I guess I'm doing this, I want to encourage... You know, a lot of you are going to make it into your 80s. Some of you are probably there. Some of you are getting close. And um, I lost my little knife. I guess I'll use my big knife. And if you don't have a pressure cooker, I'd like to encourage you to get one. It just saves time. It helps, especially when you get my age, when it's when it's more important and for years I never had one and actually uh, I never got one until I took an herb class and they, this class was let food be your medicine and they talked about having a pressure cooker and so I decided I'd try it and it is works wonderful for me I am so glad I have it, so I would like to encourage you, if you don't have one, get one, and use it, learn how to use it, and I'm sure there's even more ways to use it than I use it, and there's cookbooks out there that just um, deal in recipes, how to cook all sorts of things in the pressure cooker, but some days... When you're in a hurry and you just need a fast meal and a good meal, the pressure cooker comes to the rescue. So I'm starting out, I'm going to have like a stew, and I'm starting out in the pressure cooker right now. I haven't done anything yet with except I'm going to put some oil on it. And I'll move the camera because I doubt if you can see it, but I'll be moving it pretty soon, and you will. And I'm turning it on. I've got some coconut oil in. And I know someplace I had my little knife. And I set it someplace. Aha, uh -huh, I see it. And I'm just cutting up a few mushrooms in fairly big chunks. Okay, now back to here. I'll finish doing this. And I'm going to cook the onions in there, and I should have had this to start with to show that would be done. But, and I'll move, as soon as I get the onions and the peppers chopped up, I'll move the camera. It's a funny, <laughs> you should be able to cook beans in here but I very seldom cook beans in here. And what I like it for, Tom likes things at this age very tender. And you can't hardly get meat any more tender than in a pressure cooker. It's wonderful. And in about 20 minutes, I'll have a very, very yummy stew. Well, I think it will be yummy. And if I'm sure if you fix it, it would be yummy too. And it's so easy. Okay. So what I think, I'll fix a, a garlic or two also. A clove. Not 
guess I could have put it in there. Okay, I'm not going to put in that whole thing. And yes, you could use garlic salt, but I like to use the garlic. Okay, and how I'm doing it today is going to be all at once, but I'm going to explain to you, you can do it where you could cook your meat and then put in your vegetables that, you, that don't take as long. So you can do it in, in two sections, but today, and I don't mind if the potatoes and some of that gets really done, because it will help thicken it, and it will make it a lot easier for Tom to eat. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, now I am going to move the camera so maybe you have a better look at what I'm doing. There. And this is my apron that my son bought me a few years back for Mother's Day. And I love it. Okay, I bet that makes you dizzy. Now, I don't know if that's good or a bad place to have that. But what I want to do now is just sort of brown these. And I'm going to tell you a little rule that I very seldom follow. But lots of times I do when I cook steak or things like that. I really do try to follow. Okay, what I have here is a chuck roast. And it's much bigger than Tom and I can eat. So sometimes I cut it in three, sometimes two. And today I'm cutting it just sort of in half. And we'll have some leftovers that I can cook tomorrow. And it's boneless. I sort of wish it had a bone in it. I know it's really convenient not to have bones, I suppose, but meat with bones in it is actually more flavorful. So I am just going to cut this in chunks today. And put it in pieces. Oh, I never did finish about the rule. It's called the two-minute rule. Like, if you put on a steak and your pan's hot, you put it on or leave it for two minutes before you turn it over. You want to leave it for two minutes. Everything is better if you leave it a couple of minutes before actually you start stirring it. And what happens when you're watching me lots of times, I think, I think maybe I get a little nervous and I stir it too much, but you don't really need to, and it's better if you didn't. Okay, I am just going to put a dusting of flour on my meat. I'm going to put some salt on it. I'll put some more salt when I put everything in the pressure cooker, and um, Also, if, if you get something too salty, and it's something like what I'm cooking today, and I got it, get it too salty, what you do is add more potatoes. Anything that you can, if you get too salty, if potatoes will fit in it, steam up some potatoes, get them, if you need to get them done quickly to sort of match the rest of your dinner, do that, but add potatoes. And potatoes will correct a too salty meal. And just like coriander will correct a too spicy meal. This might not be right. Okay, 
Now these could have cooked longer in here and got a little more, but I'm going to sort of take them out and brown my meat. Okay, so if you just hang loose while I do that. Well, I can smell it in here. And no, I haven't put any spices in it yet, but I'm going to naturally. And I haven't put the salt or the pepper or anything like that. I just wanted to get this in here. And the next oil I put in will pick up the, the flavor from the vegetables that have been in here. And just a few more. I might even leave some down in the pan. But most of them are out now. Okay. Then I am going to add a little more oil. Yeah, that will go in. And I can tell it's getting warmer because coconut oil um, melts at 76. And my coconut oil is not as firm as it used to be. So it's, it's warming up. Okay, now I'm going to... And if I was really, really into this good, I wouldn't put all the meat in at one time because that's a lot of meat in there to try to brown. In fact, maybe I'll just give that a little head start, turn it up a little bit. And... let that just a little see it wasn't my two minute rule I just did it but it's really you you want it to get done because you don't want the video to be so long and what I might do I might do this in two parts I'm going to get the meat in I'm going to put all the vegetables I'm going to put some tomato paste I'm going to put my garam masala spice that I made the other day. Salt and pepper it again. And I've got turnips, potatoes, uh, carrots I'm putting in. And then uh, when I went out this morning into my garden, I picked the chard and the beet greens. And I'll steam those in a steamer the last few minutes before we eat. I already have a salad made. And so that is going to be my dinner. And I think at the end, I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. But that will have to be tacked on. That will have to be all by itself in another video because I don't have the capability of pausing it and starting again. So with that, I just really would like to encourage you to get a pressure cooker. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll tell you, have a good day. I'll show you a little bit what I have on my plates over here before I quit.